want to take this moment to thank you, the little people, for making my dreams come true. Hey, did Mr. Big Shot Rockstar just call us the little people? Dander can call us anything he wants. He's paying us big bucks to dig up trees. My Dandeland Natural Wonders theme park in New Detroit will be an ecology showcase to the world. Every type of plant from all over the US will be there, thanks to your back-breaking efforts. I hope you'll be there for my gala fundraising concert. If not, catch it live on the Omninet. The whole world will be watching. Again, many thanks. Hey, Louie, we gotta repot one of these trees, and then we can ship load 12. on the planet, they have to pick my town to have this half-baked hootenanny. This benefit concert is a big deal, Sergeant. The whole world's gonna be watching. The Natural Wonders theme park is big. Tell me, Agent Miner, are you excited about the 850 different species of trees transplanted here, or are you excited about him? You mean Dander? He's a great humanitarian. He's dedicated his career to global causes. His music is amazing. And you think he's cute. It worked. My little scheme worked. And now here I am, right in Robocop's own backyard, with a brand new body that won't petrify like before. Parabo B. Mulch, it's time to branch out a bit. Everything checks out. We're being paged. There's something wrong with the river. Let's go. Shut off valve. Are you two all right? I believe so. Vines have buried the control room. They're everywhere. Something very strange is going on here. None of these plants are behaving like plants. Remind you of anyone? Maribo B. Mulch. Ah! Mulch, all right, or a music critic. Oh, 
Maribo, Maribo, you still have the touch. Now, where was I before that noxious Robocop ruined my plans? Oh, yes, I was going to take over the world. First, I'll turn those pesky humans into slaves. No, that was more difficult than I had realized. Why not just eliminate them altogether? Of course, I'll need a little help. Fellow Flora, the time has come for action. Now go forth, be fruitful, and multiply. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Soon the plants will own New Detroit, and then the world! <laughs> we'll be right back. Obey the law. Welcome back, citizens. of hours, I will own New Detroit. I've given the humans a sporting chance to flee the city. The ones that stay will perish like cut flowers in an empty vase. No more, Mr. Nice Plant. All units, all units, weed whackers and leaf blowers now being issued at all precinct headquarters. I am not enjoying this. Guess it's not every day you get attacked by a giant marauding cactus, huh? No, it's not! Thanks for the rescue. If it weren't for you, I'd be a permanent pincushion by now. But such a nice pincushion. Will somebody please tell me what's going on with the plants? It's like they're attacking the city! I ran a photo comparison on the bud we found on the ivy. I cross-referenced it with Division Alpha files on Maripo Mulch. Maribo Mulch has to be behind this. That plant cook in Louisiana? Here in New Detroit? But we all saw Mulch turn into a tree. You think he'd stay put? If he can control all the plants in the city, how are we supposed to fight him? Pruning. Freezing spray. Insect allies. Anything our plant expert can think of. Perhaps we should ask our expert we have an expert. Printer. She arrived a few minutes ago. This is our expert, Mulch's old assistant, Kudzu Bodine. Actually, now it's Dr. Bodine. PhD in plant physiology. Agent Miner, you're the one who told me I could be anything I wanted if I completed my education. Well, I'm glad. So, let's get started. These plants are everywhere. How are we supposed to stop them? We could try a controlled burn, perhaps a chemical spray, even freezing the plants. 
All toxic solutions. There are still people trapped out there. If Maribel wants to take over New Detroit, I'm not sure we can stop him. If we can't stop him, then we'll just have to think of a way to change his mind. His first bad winter could drive him out for sure, but that's months from now. He's used to life in a bayou. Wait, you just said something. He's used to life in a bayou. Things are different here in New Detroit. We just need to show him how different. Come on, people! It's us or them! Let's blow and go! Show, citizens. This can't be happening. Believe me, it's happening. I have to find Maribo. He won't listen to reason. No, but maybe he'll listen to me. Miner! We'll have to get you out of here, Miner. Get back to Metro West. Chainsaw. We'll need that chopper. Got it. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Mulch. Welcome to my world. My, my. Kudzu Bodin. It's been a long, long time since you left me in that swamp. Put me down. Okay. Your clothes are funny, and your perfume stinks. I do not want to harm you, Mulch. Don't you understand? All green growing things are connected. I feel everything. Then feel the pain and the panic you are causing others, plant and human. You can make it stop. I intend to, by getting rid of all the humans. <laughs> We can handle these. 
You think you can pick out that overgrown stinkweed up there? Can you hear me? The chopper's all set. The rest are coming in. Did P-11 get the instructions I sent? We're ready when you are. Follow my signal. I'll see you soon. Take a good long look all around you, Katsu. This is how the world will be when I complete my mission. Maribo, please stop this. If I ever meant anything to you, if you ever cared for me at all... The way you cared for me! Leaving me to rot out in that bayou! But Maribo! Be fair! You... you were a tree! Trees are people too! Give it up, Mulch. Blaster! Release Dr. Bodine and no harm will come to you. Surrender to a robot? Never! I am not a robot. Listen to me, I will not surrender and neither will you. So you understand me? I understand you want your kingdom. You want a place where you can grow and flourish, but not here. You cannot stop me! Humans aren't your only enemies here, Mulch. We have insects in New Detroit that would love to get a chance at a plant like you. No! Stop it! Don't you understand? Neither one of us will win if we try to fight to the finish. These insects are native to New Detroit. You're the one who doesn't belong here. Help me! I'll try. I wanted to rule the world. The world is a very large place. There should be room for all of us. Anywhere but here! Maybe Robocop is right after all. Maybe there really is a place where I can rule my own kind of kingdom. Once Dr. Bodine explained the particulars, I was happy to help out any way I could. Renting this cargo jet was the least I could do. Please, call me Kudzu. Well, call me Archie. Ain't love grand? It's been so long, I wouldn't know. Are we there yet? If my plants and I can grow here in peace, Robocop, I'll owe you a debt of thanks. We'll owe you, Mulch. You're not ruling the rainforest. You're saving it. I'll miss you, Maribo. You take care of that rainforest, you hear? Happy planting. The Rainforest needs all the assistance it can get. We'll signal you when our mission is complete. there. I'm certain he will.
We'll be right back after these messages. And now, back to the show, citizens. Next, your favorite trio of inseparable siblings is coming at you with more zany adventures. It's right, Yakko, Wacko, and their adorable sister, Dot, are ready to wreak loads of havoc on Kids WB. Don't move a muscle. Steven Spielberg presents Animaniacs. Next. <laughs> 